<clears throat> Look! Child's back to normal again! <clears throat> well then, time to cool off. It seems the burden of the foul legacy transformation was too great for my body. I lacked the opportunity to think this through. And now that I consider the matter more carefully, you never had any chance of beating me to the Gnosis. You had no connection to the Gnosis, no matter where it had been taken. That's what we've been trying to tell you! We didn't take it! Your show of ability today far surpasses that of Senora's initial assessment of you and Mondstadt. Tell me, how could that be? Because I'm gradually restoring my former power. You already know the answer, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. But if that is a secret you wish to keep, I guess I'll just have to curb my curiosity. This battle has already left me satisfied. Anyone who strives as I do to grow stronger shall be called a friend. Even if our friendship can only be shown in battle against one another. Pretty sure that's not the normal way to make friends. Unfortunately, I must bring this amiable conversation to an end. My quest still beckons. Given that the Gnosis wasn't taken by anyone, then we must look once again to the beginning. Perhaps it was never in the Exuvia to begin with. In fact, it might be that the Exuvia was just a diversion of sorts. What? So you mean that... Rex Lapis still lives? Yes, it appears so. Interesting to say the least. It seems that the guardian deity of the capital of commerce is also well versed in little maneuvers beyond the boundaries of contracts. As such, we must now look to our backup plan. Backup plan? I had hoped it would never come to this. I absolutely detest working with those who are weaker than I. The truth is, the world belongs to those of us who desire to become strong. I seldom willingly mingle with any dull and boring weaklings who think otherwise. Unfortunately, we cannot be picky about our methods as Fatui Harbingers. Children must all learn to eat their vegetables sometime. So what are you planning to do? I will awaken the god that lies dormant beneath Guyan's stone forest. A god? Osile, overlord of the Vortex, who was defeated by Morax, the Geo Archon in the Archon War and who has remained pinned beneath the waves by the Geo Archon's stone spears ever since. If such an ancient god would be unleashed upon Liyue Harbor, defenseless without the protection of its deity, do you think the cunning Rex Lapis would just stand aloof and watch the ensuing destruction? But the Archon War ended 2,000 years ago! How can an ancient god appear in a world now overseen by the Seven? Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. Hey! Those are sigils of permission! Oh, Paimon remembers now! The Fatui have been researching them! Hmm... I saw your research with my own eyes. Indeed. The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. With the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, along with that which was bestowed upon me as a harbinger by our Tsaritsa, Breaking the subduing might of the Geo Archon Spears for a time should be no obstacle. Using the powers of ancient gods in such a situation fails to interest me, and is largely against my principles. But knowing that such an action will not only force the Geo Archon to show its hand, but you as well, that makes matters a little more intriguing. Oh crap. It's gonna be like a ginormous ray. <laughs> Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown together with the people of Lyra, you're free to stay and enjoy the show. <laughs> huh? He's... he's already gone. That guy is fast. <laughs> What's 
the UA is screwed from the looks of it. I'm sure it's fine. Just a bit of high tide. <sighs> Paimon's exhausted. If we hadn't happened to see the Jade Chamber flying over just as we came out of the Golden House, we really wouldn't have known which way to go. <sighs> Did we make it in time? Is the Overlord of the Vortex still in the sea? It hasn't destroyed Leila yet, has it? What are you doing here? Huh? Hold on! It's the Adepti! What are you doing on the Jade Chamber? Paimon thought you were arguing with the Chising! Is the fighting over? Faced with a calamity of such magnitude, we have agreed to put our differences aside for now and unite against this common enemy. <laughs> oh, Paimon gets it. So how do you plan to defend Leela? Eh, just seeing this Overlord of the Vortex guy puts a pin in Paimon's tummy, even from all the way out here. It's not just you. We've got new Millilith recruits who can't even stand at attention without shaking. The force of an ancient god's presence seems to be too much for ordinary people to handle. Which is why we must stop that monster before it gets any closer to Liyue Harbor. So the Archon War was fought 2,000 years ago against enemies like that thing? Now that's scary. <sighs> So will the power of the Chising, Millilith, and Adepti gathered here be enough to stop that god? We've already discussed this together, and our conclusion is... not necessarily. What? But all of you are supposed to be the guardians of Lila! Can't you think of something? <laughs> I just like, it's like, we've come up with a conclusion, we've, we've taken in all the evidence, and we've come up with, uh, maybe. One certainly could. Huh? The Chi Sing did once research the matter of the Guizhong Ballista when it piqued their fancy. And as fate would have it, one who did craft the Guizhong Ballista with one's own hands is here. For what could you mortals ever learn of Adepti mechanisms? Yet it would take one but a little tinkering to turn this Ballista into an engine of war beyond your wildest thoughts. I suppose this is one blessing from the Adepti that we should be thankful for. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong Ballista to fight off that god. All the Adepti here can lend their strength to man it. We haven't a moment to spare. Our battle begins now. Yep. Freaking goosebumps during that scene. The three Adepti are manning the Guizhong Ballista. Do not let the Fatui disturb their work. All able Millilith, with me! Let's go help too! We Adepti have not faced a god in several millennia. Hmm. Let one see what you are made of then. What strength remains within you, one wishes to witness. It's kind of epic. I 
I wish I was manning one of the ballistas though, that's the only thing. So I could be shooting at the damn thing. Maybe I will. It's entirely possible. I think I'm going to be okay to up my world rank, to be honest. I have that feeling at the moment where it's like, I'm kind of destroying things. It's like, yeah, I'll be alright updating my uh, world level here. Now, I've not maxed everything out yet, and I was going to wait till I maxed everything out, and it's like, maybe, 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 maybe I'll be okay. Like, right now, I think I've got enough XP to get to 37. That is Osile's divine power. Careful not to get hit. Oh, bloody hell. The Fatui! Their attacks are unrelenting! <sighs> How dare you. Snezhnaya's diplomats will answer for this afterward. Every last one! Send this quickly! <laughs> Stand clear! <laughs> Ooh, I got their attention, I just realized. It's like, oh. There are so many victory too! We kill them! Haha, will you not just say we can't hold them, children? Huh? Don't lose heart. Here, take this. This is a ductal energy. That light from your body. It's like the time in Julian Cars! Wow! It's Madame Pink's shockwave! This granny's really strong! Just realized the big guy was healing him. It's like, hold on a minute. He's like, why are they dying? He's like, ah, because he was healing him. Disgusting. Race you! Send this quickly! I've lost so much health With on this the one now. Of the Chilean, I guard you against evil. Cast your fear of injury by the wayside and fight with all your might. I too did this during the Archon War. <sighs> but this is what gun is like in a fight. My name means swiftness. Take my power and run as I do. It's not a waiting round at the moment for me. Because lightning. What's that about? I check, but we're in the middle of a fight, so. Kill. You are strong in body and spirit. Perhaps you can withstand three forms of adeptal energy at once. This will hurt a little. Please bear with us. Once you've adapted, try to use them in battle. Just... I'm going in! Nice and 
side. The Fatui's numbers are thinning. Fight on, comrades. Once we finish this lot off, the Adepti will be able to deal with the god in peace. That was cool, though. There was just so many, it was like, just spam everything. Get all the elemental reactions. <laughs> Interlopers are no more. Now we may commit ourselves fully. Be careful now. The Guizhong Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. Uh, what do you mean, Lady Ningguang? I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. What is the meaning of this? I understand. Traveler, lend me a hand. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future. Leeway is pretty close, right? Oh, it's fine. <sighs> Still, that was like a nuke. That was awesome. <laughs> I want more stuff like that. Give me more. I hope not. I mean, what? The ominous aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. The effects of the sigil of permission last but a short time. It will be some time before the Overlord of the Vortex can make any waves again. We are indebted to you for your assistance. If the Adepti hadn't happened to be here, the future of Liyue Harbor would surely have been in great jeopardy. <laughs> Save your flattery. We didn't just happen to be here. Surely you won't pretend to have forgotten the reason for which we came. Come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. I've heard that when Ningguang began learning to do business, she had already started setting aside part of her then limited income in preparation for building the Jade Chamber. At first, it was only the size of a small room. But with continued expansion, it has become the palace that lies before you now. It is a testament to Ningguang's entire life, both as a businesswoman and as the backbone of the Liyue Qixing. Seeing the Jade Chamber destroyed in the defense of Liyue means much to her. To me, such cooperation and sacrifice deserves at least some recognition, don't you agree? Hell yeah. I was surprised when it was the option. It was like... That, that's a lot you're giving up. Well, I was really hoping you would say that such sacrifice could at least be used as some leverage in our negotiations. <laughs> Thank you all for hearing me out. 
We know very well why the Adepti came here today. But please forgive us. We cannot yield to your wishes. Oh? 3,700 years. According to our records, the Adepti signed a contract with Rex Lapis to protect Liyue 3,700 years ago. Even to this very day, Liyue and its lands have stood the test of time, immovable as stone, just as it was thousands of years before. This is truly no small feat. But that does not mean that the Liyue of today is the same city as it was all those years ago. Do not merely cast your protective gaze upon the land. Instead, focus your sights on our city and each of the citizens that dwell within it. Are you questioning our means of protecting Liyue? Hmm... I mean no offense. I simply hope that our Adepti forebearers would see Liyue in a new light. Ha! <laughs> forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit to be part of such a lineage. This morning, Rex Lapis appeared to me in a dream. What? In the dream? I yearn to tell him that we Chi Sing, though mortal, are equally bound to the contract. Each passing generation of the Chi Sing leaves many things of value to be inherited by the next generation. I also thought to tell him how the past generations of Chi Sing had strove under his rule to survive in our mortal world, establishing a network of contracts which has since come to be known as trade. But I dared not speak. I could only gaze at him in silence until the moment I awoke. Oh, Ningguang! We're all on the same side here. Yet another perspective. What are you trying to say, Outlander? And there is discord between the Guardians and those they were meant to defend. Harmony becomes very difficult to restore. Right! That's something that happened in Mondstadt. It's a story about the Four Winds and the people of the Animal Archon. The Animal Archon sought to quell the strife between the two sides because he believed that such conflict would only scar the hearts of both and that nothing good would come of it. This is what we learned in the City of Freedom. Each of the Seven Nations has its own scars from the past. Though your point is the very height of simplicity, as Adepti, we've become a laughingstock to be chastised thus by an outlander who has lent us such succor. All right, all right. Didn't Ning Wong suggest that we should focus on the city and each of its citizens? I know I already have, so why not see for yourselves? I apologize for appearing in full armor. I am afraid I cannot show the proper courtesies. And who are you? I am Feng Yan, a sergeant of the Millilith. I have come to extend my thanks to the Adepti. I thought this battle would perhaps be my last. But thanks to the aid of the Adepti, our forces were not as badly battered as I feared we might be. Although I am a mere mortal soldier, I promise to hold the line and never betray the grace given to us by the illuminated Adepti this day. Hmm. <sighs> huh? Why does everyone look so down? Didn't we just beat that big monster? <laughs> Weren't you frightened, dear? It was quite the predicament. I wasn't afraid. All the strong Millilith guards were there, and those powerful heroes with their visions were there. Everyone was there. When danger is near, everyone always protects me. And the rest of the time, they make fun toys and tasty snacks and... and loads of things that make the harbor so pretty. Thanks for protecting Liyue Harbor. Please, come visit us for the next Lantern Rite. Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to participate. Huh? Because we are Adepti. Oh, okay. It must be hard being an Adeptus. Aww. You see, this is what Liyue is like today. The Country of Contracts is grateful to the Adepti for their protection, but it is no longer necessary for the city to rely on the Adepti's power to solve every little niggling matter. 
Although their blood is weak, there is still strength to be found in those we call mortals. The time of contracts between gods and Liyue has long since passed. Now is the time of contracts between Liyue and its people. Hmm. Seeing the port around us now, it is hard not to feel a bit out of place. Wouldn't you say so, Cloud Retainer? Your line of inquiry is askew. One did not spearhead this expedition to Liyue Harbor. Hmm. Seems like the Adepti have had a change of heart. This feels very familiar to what happened in Mondstadt. There's a certain theme here that I'm noticing. Uh, they've listened to what the people have said. Let us return now. Eager to leave, conqueror of demons. <laughs> yes, one understands what the conqueror of demons means. The city of Liyue has changed much after our long separation. One fears that by the time one finally grasps the new contracts of Liyue, you humans would have once again changed the place beyond recognition. Fair enough. Away we shall, and return whence we came. Hmm. Since we Adepti have consensus, then one shall persist no further. But how will we ensure that the Liyue Chising will not simply exploit their power once we depart? In my view, that is still a thing to be guarded against. <laughs> All right, Mooncarver, you needn't worry. It seems to me that this right of supervision is best left to the people of Liyue. <sighs> Looks like the conflict between humans and Adepti was avoided. All's well that ends well, huh? Mmm, the Adepti were quite reasonable in the end. Oh, right! It's nice that we've got peace and all, but we're forgetting one thing. Child wanted to unleash the god so he could lure Rex Lapis out. But we were able to handle the Overlord of the Vortex on our own, so Rex Lapis never showed up. Oh, and speaking of that, don't we still need to get to the bottom of that Archon's death too? That we do. Derail? Timing doesn't get it. But isn't the strongest lead we have the Adeptilus Rite of Parting that we're organizing? No idea where Zhang Li's going. Let's ask for him at Wang Shem Funeral Parlor. I really expected Zhang Li, or Rex Lapis as we will actually call him, because that's clearly who he is, <laughs> to have done something, or was he just observing being like. Uh, they've got it handled, everything's going okay there. I'll leave them to it. I've got a, a right to prepare. So the question is like, okay, so he's Rex Lapis. I, th I thought maybe like what we were doing was preparing for something like that via what Zhongli was doing. But clearly he's planning something else. Like, why, why is he doing this right thing? Why is he bringing all those pieces together? What's the point? Maybe the right of parting is something else. Maybe he's leaving? Which again, would be very similar to what happened... ...over in Monster, and there's that feeling of like... ...the end of the era of the Archons and that type of stuff. It's just, maybe that's what's coming about. Well, there he is. So, I'm thinking I'm gonna end this part here, and in the next part... ...we'll do this next quest, which is... <laughs> the fond farewell, because this feels like it's the end of chapter one, I think? I'm not entirely sure. The fact the fact I get something from my um, constellations feels like it is down... Oh, no. No. Back, back up. Why, why will you not go up? Thank you. There. That. Because I get that. I feel like that's... That's, that, 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 that signifies this is the end of this chapter, doesn't it? So I do feel like we should do that in the next part. And... Achievement-wise, I want to see what we got here. Quick as lightning, sprint continuously for over 15 seconds. Fair enough. Outlander versus Outlander, defeat child, we know that. Uh, sing a song of Mondstadt, <laughs> glaze lilies. Defeat child. What was the other defeat child then? What was that one? Defeat the Overlord. Charles' second phase seemed harder, to be honest. 
Where was the defeat child? Outlander vs. Oh, defeat child without any party member being marked and then hit by his follow-up attack. I did destroy him, but again, I think that's because it's like my equipment and stuff is quite high at the moment. Again, I could easily get adventure rank 37 at this point. Easily. But, yes, anyway, rendering this part here. We'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.